Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to calculate cluster size in cellular network. In cellular network, uh, frequency is actually divided into cells, and cluster is the number of cells which are completely utilizing complete frequency of the system. So, if we are assuming we are having a, uh, let's say we are having a frequency f, and uh, the number of uh, cells which are completely utilizing that frequency is m so n will be the cluster size so if we are having a pattern of cells so how are we going to calculate cluster so size of cluster can be calculated using this formula n equal to i square plus ij plus j square so how are we going to find out value of i and j so we will see so what we have to do is that we have to find out two cell with same frequency so in this uh, diagram if you can see this A is representing that whatever frequency is used in this cell, same set of frequency again used in this cell, again used in this cell. So these uh, characters actually representing a set of frequency which are used in this cell. So what we have to do in order to find out cluster size, pick any cell with a, let, let's say we are picking this cell and we need to find out another cell which are using same frequency. So you can select this one or you can select this one. So in our example, we are selecting this one and this one. So we need to select two cell which are using same set of frequency. Now next thing what we have to do, we have to start from the center of this cell and we have to reach center of this cell. And there is a constraint that uh, we can move this center to another uh, neighboring cell center we cannot uh, reach that cell directly like from here directly not in this way what we have to do the constraint is that we need to move center to center so let's say this from here from this a we want to move to this a so we can go from here to center of c then from here to center of e and then from here to center of a so let's see now uh, we are having same example so here uh, what we have to do we will start moving from this cell to cell E so when we make a move in a particular direction so the, those number of moves actually will be known as I in a particular direction and whenever we will, uh, make a change so here if you can see So this is that, this is the procedure we need to find out nearest co-channel. So co-channel is a cell which is using same set of frequency. Now what we have to do, we have to move I cells along any chain of hexagons. So what is the meaning of this statement? From here we have to go in one direction like from here to here, here to here. Now we cannot go further like we cannot go to D because we want to go to a. So in order to reach A, we need to make a turn of 60 degrees. So whenever we make a turn of 60 degree in counterclockwise, now whatever moves we will make, those moves will be counted as value of J. So here, so here we are representing that value of I is 2, J, value of J is 1. So why? Let's see. So here we have started from this A. We raise our center of C, then we raise the center of uh, what is this? This is E. So we have made two moves one this one, one this one, so, and these two moves are made in single direction. So this, these number of moves are uh, considered as value of I. And from here, we made a turn of 60 degree counterclockwise, and then we made a move of 1. And this one will be considered J. So if we put this value of I and J in our formula. So in this formula if we will put this value. So I value is 2. So I square will be 4. And J value is 1. So 4 plus 1 5. And this 2 multiply 1. So this will be 7. So if you can make. Uh, if you, Sorry. If you can see here we are having a cluster of seven cells which are completely using frequency 
and this pattern is repeated over and over. So this is the way to calculate cluster. Thank you very much for watching.